Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to show you some creative applications of the Remove Background tool. Now the Remove Background tool is definitely one of the most loved features in the GoDaddy Studio app, and cutting out images of products is definitely one of the more popular applications. All you need to do is tap edit and then you'll see there's a remove image background button. You simply tap that once and in a matter of seconds it cuts it out neatly and you can imagine how useful and practical that is for social posts as well as product listings on your shop or your website. But keep in mind that you can really bring a cut out product image to life by adding some text and graphics to your post to really make your product stand out in a more captivating way, ideally tied in with your brand's colors, graphics, and general identity. Another fun idea that I really love is creating the illusion of graphics being intermingled into a realistic scene like this. And to do that, all I do is duplicate my image, and then just on that top layer, I would edit it by removing the image background, so I have a version with the uh, cut out central image on top of my uh, original image. And then I can start by adding some graphics into the scene. And if I add a layer of graphics in between that cut out image and the uh, background image, you can see it creates that illusion of depth really well. And once you've figured out this technique, there are really so many interesting ways in which it can be applied, including with text. Collage is another really popular creative application of the Remove Background tool. There are so many different styles of collage, but the principle is essentially the same. You can cut out your central image and then combine it with a range of different graphics to create a collage scene. Now the trick to getting this right is to work with your layers. So you want to put some of your graphics in front of and others behind your central image. And uh, that way you can create a really fantastic sense of depth for very eye-catching and evocative collages. Now the Remove Background tool works in such fine detail that it can even cut out your own handwriting. So this was a game changer for me and I'd love to show you how it works. You would simply write something on some white paper with a black pen for maximum contrast, take a photo with your phone, send it into GoDaddy Studio and uh, there you have it. You can cut out your handwriting in fine detail now the trick to applying this to your posts in order to personalize them is to save it as a PNG on a transparent background like I have here. Now if you'd like to add that to a post, what you'll do is start with your image or your template and then head to the graphics library and if you scroll to the bottom of this library you'll see there's a logos folder. You're going to tap plus select from the photo library and just add that cut out image that you've just saved to your device and if you tap it it will now add that as a graphic onto your image and the best part about it being a graphic is now you can change the color i can make it black white or just about any imaginable color with my color wheel and you can see how that's a fantastic way to personalize some of your uh, social content Another way you could apply this exact same technique is with a handwritten logo. You would just write it out, take a photo, bring it into studio, cut out the background. And once it's uploaded as a graphic into your logos folder, you can uh, use it as a personalized logo for your brand. Another very simple but fun way to play around with remove background is to cut out your central subject and experiment with a range of different graphic backgrounds that really make your image pop and jump off the page. I would suggest looking at things like gradients and patterns. We have stacks of those in our graphics library. But don't forget you can also use video backgrounds, which as you can see are really eye-catching and captivating. And it plays right into the hands of social media algorithms that favor video content. And then finally, what you might want to do to maximize the contrast of your cutout subject matter is to add a border to it. Now to do that, what we'll do is duplicate the cutout image. And then in my layer stack, I'm going to go to the version that's underneath. And in my menu tray, I'm going to head over to the tint tool. I'm going to make the color white for now, turn the opacity all the way to 100%. 
and now you'll see I have this uh, white layer underneath. And if I make that just a little bit larger than my central image, it creates an outline that really helps uh, create a differentiation between the foreground and the background. And what's really neat is that I can make this any color that I would like to. And one final idea to try out here is to blur your background. So instead of having a hard cut outline, it's a bit softer and creates something of a glow around your image. This is just the tip of the iceberg. GoDaddy Studio has so many creative applications and it's a free app you can download right now for iOS, Android or web. All the links you need are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and please think about subscribing to this channel to learn more about GoDaddy Studio. I'll see you next time.